Hi everyone, it's just me. Um, today's vlog, I wanted to share um, a couple of things with people. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe if I put my hand like that, you'll be able to see it. Maybe not. There, you can see that. Oh, it's difficult because it's so fine. Well, that's basically one of my stitches. Um, I had to pull it out. Now, some of them are dissolvable, some of them aren't. And the ones that aren't, they're just... They're very tough, they're very, I don't know, prickly, but they're horrible. And um, that, uh, as well as another one, which is a knot, I had to pull out of one of my incisions. Um, very painful. I've still got the, some of the stitches in the other incisions, but I just can't get it out. So I could be just sitting there not doing anything, and then I just get this stabbing pain. Now... When I say stabbing, it doesn't feel like a knife, but it feels, it hurts, you know, and I'm just getting really irritated at the moment because there's just so many problems, one thing after another, and the last thing I want now is these bloody stitches, you know, stabbing me when I least ex uh, expect it. So, that was one thing that was happening. The other thing is, um... I've booked a, uh, a doctor's appointment for tomorrow at 9.50. Reason being, um, like I told everyone, I've been feeling sick pretty much throughout the whole day. There's no reason for it. It's not because I'm hungry. I don't know what it is. Um, and today I had something to eat and I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, dance or do something to my little exercise pretty much. And... Um, I did some dancing and then I felt really sick afterwards, like really, like, like probably the worst. And I just thought, I can't live my life. Yes, I'll be slimmer, but I'll be living the rest of my life constantly feeling like I want to vomit. Now, I'm not trying to be negative about having the gastric bypass because that's only one thing. And you have so many uh, pros, you know, from the operation. So um, I made an appointment to see if they can give me something um, to help it or make it less or not as often. I don't mind feeling sick, you know, if it's for a second, once or twice a day. But the fact that it's more regular and it's just like probably the whole day or I don't know. Um, but it's a shame. It is a shame. And I'm sorry I'm moaning and... Um, it's just one of those things, but things will get better. I think it's like a roller coaster. You know, you're going to have your ups, you're going to have your downs, but at the end of the day, you enjoy the ride. And if you don't, then get off of it. Which you really can't after a gas uh, gastric bypass. You can have it redone, you can have it put back to how it was. Um, it is possible. It's not like the gastric sleeve where once your half your stomach's out, it's out. You know, the gastric bypass can be... Uh, um, put back so that's the worst scenario that you get fed up and I just put it back but would I? no I wouldn't even though I feel crappy at the moment I still wouldn't go back I'm so happy oh it was so funny for the last couple of days I've been 21 stone 8 pounds and um, it just wouldn't go that's why I'm, I was dancing I was like okay come on let's just burn some of this you know fat up and um, yeah, I weighed myself this morning, still the same, 21 stone, 8 pounds. I was like, okay. So then I, um, I had a shower and I thought, you shouldn't weigh yourself after you've had a shower because you're wet and water weighs. I don't know, people just say stuff like that. But I weighed myself and I was 21 stone 6. So I shed 2 pounds in the shower. Not bad, is it? So yeah, so that's what I did. So I'm actually 21.6. I'm hoping, today's Monday, I'm hoping by the end of the week, at least Sunday, that I've gone past 21 stone. I'd hope to be 21 stone. I hope to lose six pounds this week. That is my goal, and I really hope I can make it. Um, so yeah. Except for that, everything's good, except for feeling sick and being stabbed by my stitches. Um, I've got a school reunion that I'm, uh, that I'm doing, putting together. So I'm hoping to do that in May. 
So hopefully I lose a couple more stone before then so I can sort of look all snazzy and good. You know, and even if I haven't lost that much weight till the reunion, as long as I feel good and I'm healthy, the main thing is that I'm healthy. That's all that matters. Um, then I'll be quite happy with that. So, but yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say for today. So, thank you for watching my vlog and do leave me a message because I feel like I'm the only one that who feels like sick all the time and I was speaking to my friend Charlotte in Egypt and she has family that have had the gastric band and she says they feel sick and I forgot why she said they do but I just feel like I'm the only person that has this and I haven't really heard anyone else say they've got it so it kind of makes me think is it me is there something wrong and at this moment in time I'm getting stabbed by the stitch right now and oh my god anyway <laughs> can you imagine look today I thought I'd be curly for everyone what do you think this is all natural my mum likes my hair like this I personally like to be a licked herring you know like my hair is always so straight but this is my hair naturally and my mum absolutely loves it. I'm not really feeling it, but I do it to make her happy. So, oh, and I'm gonna show you one of my old pair of trousers. This is one of my old pair of trousers. Now, if I show you, normally it's up, but as you can tell, it's slipping. That's my old pair. See that? Ooh. So there's quite a big difference. Look at that. <laughs> I can literally fold it. See? I think that's the best way to show that is I can actually fold it. That's it normally and it just feels great and my flies open <laughs> so I just flashing everyone but yeah I just it feels great that my old clothes are getting smaller so I know something's working but anyway I think that's all I have to say um, I'll probably do a vlog um, tomorrow and let everyone know what the GP gave me for the sickness. And I'm actually going to ask him, like, what is it? You know, what's making me sick? Um, I don't know what he's going to say. Probably acid or this or the, you know. To be quite honest, I'm, I'm being negative again. Doctors sometimes don't even know what it is. They just look at the symptoms and they prescribe. You know, they look in their little book. You know, there's, there's hardly any doctors. I'm not slagging off doctors because they are good. But I'm just saying, they just learn everything from a textbook. You know, they can't always tell us what's wrong. They just treat the symptoms. So, I kind of hope the sickness goes. Anyway, once again, I'm doing a long vlog. It is now 8 minutes 45. And I'm going to love and leave you all and speak to you tomorrow after I know what is what. Anyway, thanks. Take care. Bye.